Good morning and welcome to our song and praise service for this Sunday. Uh, it's lovely to be here um, and I'm in a new place, a different place for a change with this fantastic view of Dovedale. Let us meet in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Faithful one whose word is life, come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer and shape our lives. For the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of our prayer. We give thanks, for you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in him. Therefore shall let our hearts dance for joy, and in our song shall we praise our God. reading is from Isaiah 55 10 to 13. Thus says the Lord, as for the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, bringing it forth and spread, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth and it shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy, and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands, instead of the thorn shall come up the, the cypress, instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle, and, a, and it shall be to the Lord for a memorial, for the everlasting sign that it shall not be cut off. This is the word of the Lord.
respond to our prayers of penitence, what God has prepared for those who love him, he has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything. Therefore let us in penitence open our hearts to the Lord, who has prepared good things for those who love him. May your loving mercy come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your word. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light to my path. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. O oh, let your mercy come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God of love, embrace us and bring us back to you. Assure us and forgive us of your eternal love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And today's prayer is this one. Let's just be still for a moment. Almighty God, send down upon your church the riches of your spirit. Kindle in all who minister the gospel your countless gifts of grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The second reading is taken from Romans chapter 8 verses 1 to 11. There is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. For God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do, by sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and to deal with sin, he condemned sin in the flesh, so that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. You are in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies, also through his Spirit that dwells in you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the lake. Such great crowds gathered round him, and he got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil. They sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun, sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil, brought forth grain, some a hundred, hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. That anyone with ears listen. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The parable of the sower um, is is a familiar story that Jesus told and that we know well and sometimes we can sometimes miss the point of, of some of Jesus stories part of the reason Jesus told stories was for us to think in a different way and to reflect on life and consider things from a new angle a different perspective and maybe what he was trying to say to to his listeners, what sort of seed are you? Are you the sort of seed that gets choked by weeds or dies off in the sun? Or are you a seed that finds yourself in good soil and makes a difference and grows and flourishes? During this time of COVID, I think we've been like seeds ourselves. And the question is, what sort of soil have we found ourselves being scattered in? And there may be times that our seed was choked by stuff around us, the uncertainty, feeling lost and losing lots of things in our lives in our da daily routines well maybe maybe you felt scorched in all the lovely weather but couldn't do much to lift yourself off the sunbed and maybe there were times you found yourself doing something completely new completely different and somehow you felt as though you grew that you changed, that something happened within you that made life and made life a difference, for not only for yourself but maybe for other people. Our new normal isn't going to be like our old normals. Maybe we can take time and 
consider, if we are a seed, what sort of soil we're going to plant ourselves in. What sort of fruit do we want our seeds to produce so we've got something good to share with each other. And maybe the seeds need to be sown where there is love, compassion, encouragement when that sort of soil good things can grow. So let's perhaps consider how we're going to sow our seed and see what new fruits we can grow and share the joy and love. declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven on the earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from his mind. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit.
together as the people of God and attentive to his will, let us pray. Heavenly Father, may your words of truth take root in our hearts and grow to rich maturity. May we hear your will for us and act upon it. May we take seriously our responsibility to encourage and nurture one another in faith at every age and every stage. Eternal truth, living God, your word is life and strength. Heavenly Father, may every act of selfless giving and every search for truth be richly blessed and rewarded. Disturb assumptions and lead many to ponder more deeply the spiritual dimension of their lives. May the word of God reach all who are ready to receive it, and let us set no boundaries here as to who they might be. Eternal truth, living God, your word is life and strength. Heavenly Father, make our homes places of love and growth, welcoming to all who visit them, and accepting and forgiving to all who are nurtured there. Help us through the quarrels and heartaches, and remind us to honour one another as your cherished ones. Eternal truth, living God, your word is life and strength. Heavenly Father, may all whose bodies, souls or minds are aching know the comforting and strengthening power of your companionship and the healing work of your love. May we be ready to support and befriend one another through the difficult times. In the name and love of the God we worship. Eternal truth, living God, your word is life and strength. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are making the journey through physical death as they put down earthly things and wait to your presence. Bring us all to share with them your life in all its fullness. Eternal truth, living God, your word is life and strength. Heavenly Father, the rain and sunshine, the growing and harvesting, sing to us of your faithful love, and may we offer you our thankful praise for all your gifts to us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We sum up our prayers and the prayers that Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Reach
we come to our final prayers. In darkness and in light, in trouble and in joy, help us, Heavenly Father, to trust your love, to serve your purpose and to praise your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. The Lord God Almighty is our Father. He loves us and cares tenderly for us. The Lord Jesus Christ is our Saviour. He has redeemed us and will defend us to the end. The Lord, the Holy Spirit, is among us. He will lead us in God's holy way. To God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be praise and glory today and every day. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, Thursday this week, the 6th of, 16th of July, will be Ian um, Longdon's funeral in church um, at two o'clock. Um, please don't feel you're going to be able to come into church. The numbers are limited to 30 and Becky has chosen who will be coming into church. But there will be an opportunity for you to hear, hear the service and to be part of it and to hold um, Becky and her family, Ian's family and Ian in our prayers on that day. I haven't clapped for the staff, but our flag is flying in the winds for the NHF. Now we have Reverend John to refresh our souls. 
In his garden he does stand, with his covered ironing board at hand. The birds they, are, they sing and fly close to him. I sit in a chair with coffee by my side, listening to what he said. There are no others there except Reverend John and the Lord. It seems it is very full. Music, singing, people read. It reminds us that what was said in the Bible when Jesus travels on his way. We thank you Reverend John for you, you sharing your time with us and such a lot of caring. Even swinging to and fro on your swing with many worldly words which mean a lot of things. <laughs>